Hello, I'm Jason McDaniel with Olympus Controls and I would like to introduce you to Parker's new LCR series actuator. This actuator is available in two types. One is a screw driven series product and the other is a belt driven actuator. It's available in two sizes, a 22 by 30 millimeter and a 30 by 40 millimeter. That is the width being 30 on this one and 40 millimeters tall to the top of the carriage. It's offered in two bearing technologies. One is a slide pad bearing inside for smaller loads and for higher load capacity it's offered in a square rail version. A square rail version is something like this with a recirculating ball bearing. It's called a square rail due to the profile of the rail being square. As you can see on the unit it has a standard IP30 strip seal cover for environmental protection. This cover also eliminates any pinch points in the actuator. There's also T-slots on both sides of the actuator. You can see here there are two T-slots on each side, one for clamping down on the profile. The internal carriage has a magnet in it for the Hall Effect sensors. Here we have a limiter home sensor. We simply can loosen up the sensor. The screwdriver slide it to the proper location that we want and screw it back down and then it's held in position. So easily adjustable on the limit home sensors as well as replaceable. Uh, we also can offer these in multi-axis configurations and XYZ assemblies or XY. We simply have mounting brackets to attach them in multiple configurations. The units also are offered in clean room options and we can do things like graduated um, graduated markings on the face of it where we can put basically what would look like a ruler printed on the surface so that you could visibly see where the product is at all times. Let's look at the belt drive actuator. The belt driven actuator is a half a millimeter repeatability with a slide pad bearing and 0.2 millimeter repeatability with, this, with the square rail bearing. It also is a 20 pound load capacity with the square rail and 10 pound capacity with the slide pad bearing. Both are rated to two G's of acceleration and deceleration and the larger unit like this can get up to 870 millimeters per second velocity. It, the belt drive is limited to one meters of travel. One of the nice features of the belt driven actuator you can see on the end here is for belt tensioning and tracking. We have two small little jack screws here that you can use. You release the, the bolts here and then you can use those jack screws to pull that pulley assembly back in and out and adjust the tension and then clamp these down or tighten your bolts and now that assembly is done. So very easy to adjust the tension on here or to replace the belt. Again, you can also undo these two screws on the carriage, remove this top cover off, get access to the belt and replace it there. So very easy to uh, work with. There's no lubrication requirements on either unit. Both are lubricated for life. The square rail bearing uses a C-sleeve technology so that you never have to lube the product. Looking at the screw drive, the, uh, the square rail version is a 0.1 millimeter repeatability and the slide pad bearing is a 0.2 millimeter repeatability. Again, we can do 2 G's of acceleration and we can do up to 150 millimeters per second with the larger lead screw. Looking at the cost points, which is one of a key selling feature of these small little actuators, this unit in a 400 millimeter of travel is shown with a stepper motor would be right around $1,000. This lead screw version that we have shown here with 300 millimeter of travel and the stepper motor would be right around $750. One of the other products that we'd like to highlight today is the new ION drive from our Parker division. Uh, this has been designed so it can bolt right on the side of the LCR actuator and then the cabling is all provided to go right to your drive. So you have an entire drive motor and actuator assembly uh, for very, very low cost as well as a nice compact design. Some of the features of the ION drive, it's a 2 amp capacity drive so it can run just about any NEMA 11 through NEMA 23 stepper motor. It offers 1 8 stepping and 12 to 24 volt DC operation. Uh, if we access the unit, configuration requires no software at all. All we have to do is remove the cover and through a couple of jumpers we can set the stepping resolution of the drive to match whatever characteristic we want with our controller.
So we undo that, pull it off. Over here you can see the jumpers. And then here the pots are accessible without taking the cover off for adjusting the current to the motor. We have run current and standby current. So after 1.5 seconds, if no commanded motion has occurred, the drive will actually go into the standby current mode and keep your motor cool. Uh, so that is about all on the uh, new LCR series belt and screw driven actuators, as well as our new ion drive packaged with them. Uh, call us when you have your next automation project and let us apply our expertise to your next project. Thank you.